Oh yeah, what's up guys? As you've seen in the last vlog, uh, I had some technical difficulties and so I gave you some clips of the Huntington University's women's basketball team that I uh, went and shot a few times last year. Uh, the game that you've seen in yesterday's vlog was against Indiana Wesleyan University. January the 3rd, 2011, so it's been over a year ago, but I just thought I'd put on a few clips of that game. Uh, so now I'm just going to talk about what I wanted to yesterday, and that is some of the games that took place yesterday. Today, there was only like five games in the country played, so on the men's side, so it was pretty uh, lame. For uh, basketball today, but anyway, so uh, Duke, as I said in, in yesterday's vlog, Duke won big over Georgia Tech 73 57, and they just keep all one. And keep in mind, I believe they still have one of those still playoffs out, so Duke's uh, Duke will be in the top three, top four all season long. Uh, and then Michigan beat Minnesota, and Michigan was actually only up by six at that time. But, but anyway, they beat Minnesota 83-75. Uh, Minnesota, uh, the thing is with Minnesota, uh, I do feel like they could have uh, uh, made the game closer with a really good shot at beating Michigan. Uh, the thing is, Minnesota, they took what I call, uh, I mean, they, they, they made some bad decisions. Uh, horrible shot selection down the stretch. Uh, they took bad shots, or what I call stupid threes. And uh, those Sultans, uh, situations and games or circumstances that I believe you never take a three and Minnesota was down on Michigan most of the game yesterday uh, they cut it like within I think they were down single digits nine or seven points with like uh, full I mean like five minutes left to go uh, and what happened is, is they sort of take a threes, uh, which is low percentage shots. And like I said, if you're down most of the game and then you cut it down to nine, seven points, and you have the ball, you don't take low percentage shots. You, you want to get some dribble penetration. Uh, drive and attack the basket and you don't want to break the momentum and Minnesota just took stupid threes uh, and you see it ever you an NCAA tournament you even see it I mean you don't think you'd uh, you'd think that teams would be smart enough not to do not to take them stupid shots you know uh, what I call them <laughs> Uh, but you see it every year, even in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, I mean, and see when you attack the basket, you there's a good shot you'll draw a foul, and you'll stop the clock on top of that. That's what I'm saying. I mean, the only way you want to take a three in that situation is uh, if you uh, if you just can't. Uh, drive the paint and uh, you know then you're in trouble then you have to stop then you have no choice but to take a three but Minnesota had plenty of time left on the shot clock so on so forth and then another game Illinois hosted Northwestern uh, and they will uh, so, so they were playing at home. Northwestern was up 36 to 21 at the half. Uh, and then uh, they end up, ended up winning 68 to 54. Not a surprise if you've seen my other vlogs. I've said Illinois 
Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't make the NCAA tournament and uh, that continued. I mean, I think they're definitely going to be a bubble team. I mean, they might make it, but I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't. So I've said that a few times in previous vlogs, if you've been watching. And uh, so Illinois stops, I mean, uh, drops the 14 5 1 and put on the Big Ten. Uh, they sold out 12 0. So they've lost five out of the last seven games. So, and the AP, coaches AP poll has them like 24 in the country. Uh, expect them to drop out of the top 25 definitely on Monday. Uh, so, and Northwestern's like 11 and 7, 2 and 3 in the Big Ten. And, you know, Northwestern's never made the tournament. Uh, we had another game, exciting game. <coughs> Number 10 Paul traveled to Texas A&M. They were up 45 18 at halftime. They ended up winning 68 47. 47. Yet again, Florida holds another opponent below 50 points. And Texas A&M ain't too bad. 12 and 4, 2 and 1 in SEC. And I have seen them play, and they ain't too bad. Uh, the coaches AP poll has Florida like 10th. I have them, as you guys all know, 5th. I could see them being the surprise team. Uh, I could see them being, uh, sneaking into the final four. I'm telling you right now, uh, Florida is a very good team. And once again, Billy Donovan, as a Patino disciple, one of my favorite coaches, and again, you'll see in that uh, press and trap, uh, aggressive type defense, and it's showing. I mean, they're holding team. I, I don't. I can't tell you the last time Florida gave up more than 50 points, and that is much more impressive than uh, offense, like scoring a lot of points a game. So, but anyway, I think that's it. Anyway, I think that's it. Some of these vlogs are going to be short, uh, but I'm just I'm going to try to keep going every day. So. Uh, hopefully everybody's having a good. Uh, week and hopefully you enjoy your weekend. Uh, uh, we have games tomorrow, Saturday, but I don't know what who's playing. Uh, but it should be exciting. I have two games to shoot tomorrow. Uh, the Huntington North Vikings boys and girls team both play tomorrow, and they have like a chicken noodle soup uh, fundraiser in between, I think. Uh, and that's tomorrow. So if you love in Huntington, try to make it up at the school and watch some great basketball, eat some good chicken noodle soup. Uh, they'll play in Newcastle, both teams. So, uh, 